<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the machine. You know, talk about some uh, MLB news about eight, nine topics to talk about from uh, 358 Baseball, so let's get around to it here. So, the Texas Rangers, they are, quote, aggressively pursuing Cardinals relief pitcher Jordan Hicks following St. Louis being unable to work out an extension with Hicks per Derek Goat Gould. So, he knows that the Yankees are also among teams showing interest in Jordan Hicks, so how the Rangers, the Yankees are... It seems like two teams showing interest. It seems the Yankees are showing interest, but it seems the Rangers are gracefully pursuing Jordan Hicks after he couldn't work out an extension with St. Louis. Man. Hicks and Chapman in the same bullpen's insane. And people are like, oh, a high ERA. Hicks has only let one run in over his last like, 10 appearances. Same goes for Chapman. They, they both throw gas. And they're great pitchers. This is crazy. I guess the Yankees just don't want to trade for anyone or get any any good bullpen arms, good players. They just want to go to like, oh, Randall Grichik. <laughs> That's basically Brian Cashman laughing in the face of Yankees fans. <laughs> So the San Francisco Giants, they have reportedly uh, expressed interest in Cardinals uh, shortstop, uh, Paul DeYoung, per Mark Feinsand. I mean, you'd probably take him starting at shortstop over uh, Schmidt and Brandon Crawford any day of the week. And I know Brandon Crawford, one of the best Giants, but he I mean, even the best still fall off. He's getting old, and Paul is a gold, gold glove shortstop. It would definitely be like we Brandon Crawford at this point. Brandon Crawford's old. He's starting to become washed. I mean, he would ultimately already be a top player on that Giants team if he got traded there. So, I think it would definitely be a good move because it's better than having Schmidt out there who's struggling. Brandon Crawford is just old and washed. So, the Miami Marlins are reportedly looking to add a starting pitcher after acquiring relief pitcher David Robertson last night, uh, per Ken Rosenthal. So, apparently, um, they're looking to add a starter after they got David Robertson. So David Robertson. So I think they they want to upgrade their bullpen first, get a good relief pitcher that can close games, outside of having over having to just overuse AJ Puck. So, they they might try and go out there and get, like, Jack Flaherty. But why don't they just call back up Yuri Perez? Maybe they just don't want to have his arm, his elbow blow out and have to have Tommy John. When he's done with his rehab assignment. I mean, he's not rehabbing, he's healthy. They, they had him on an innings pitch limit, I think, not rehab. Maybe you could get him. So basically, they could go through, maybe get Jack Flaherty, Jordan Montgomery, one of those two could be an option. After they upgraded their bullpen with David Robertson, they can be a closer, we'll see. So, my Dodgers, seems, might, seems like we might not be done just yet. So the Los Angeles Dodgers are reportedly showing interest in Mets outfielders Mark Canna. And Tommy Fam, per Pat Ragazzo. I don't know what to think about this here. I feel like we're interested in every player on the face of Earth. Tommy Fam's kind of toxic, to be honest. I know he's had a good season, but I wouldn't trade it a lot just to get him. I mean, maybe they would he, they would go off for us because the Dodgers fix like everyone. But we just have so many people in the outfield. Like you have Mookie, Altman, 
Chris Taylor plays a little bit of outfield. Yeah, Peralta and Hayward already doing good. I, we don't need to trade for another outfielder. Because you'd basically be taking playing time away from Altman. Pirates catcher Austin Hedges has reportedly garnered trade interest ahead of the Falcons' first trade deal on per John Heyman. He's slammed. <laughs> <laughs> He's garnering trade interest, you say. He's slashing 181, 234, 231, 466. 466 OPS with 114 RBIs across 160 plate appearances. His hitting stats don't do him justice. Like, his defense is good. He's very good at framing. But he's one of the worst hitters in baseball. He is literally trash. No one wants his wants him for his hitting stats. What what, what trade interest? But the Guangdong Tigers. I, I'm hearing the Guangdong Tigers are interested in Austin Hedges. The Minnesota Twins are reportedly receiving trade interest in their starting pitchers. Why on earth would the Twins sell? Because they'll still have a chance to win that division. Why would they try and sail instead of making the playoffs? And I'm sure they're not trading their starting pitchers. I mean, this whole way of Central might turn into a garage sale, though. It's possible the Twins maybe could trade a starting pitcher, but I just don't see it happening because they're, they're, they can win that division. So Orioles Vice President slash GM Michael Elias says, but this isn't a trade rumor, by the way, uh, that Baltimore won't, won't rule out seeing number one ranked prospect Jackson Holiday in the majors this season or getting as high as AAA. So this actually isn't a trade rumor. So remember Jackson Holiday, the number one ranked prospect, uh, was the number one pick in that draft. Um, there, there's a possibility he could, he could get to the majors, or could, could get in the majors this season or as high as AAA. So, I can definitely see it happen. I think he, I don't think he'll get called up this year, but maybe sometime next year. I can definitely, I can definitely see it uh, happening. Probably signing some autographs over there. What's the craziest item you've ever been asked to sign? Uh, somebody's arm. But it is what it is. So now let's get to Twitter here. Um, so Instagram, those are all the rumors from Three Five Eight Baseball. Let's get to Twitter here. John Morosi, Morosi, the White Sox. They reportedly aren't done making moves. Right-handed pitcher Kenyon Middleton. He's drawing some trade interest and can be dealt before Tuesday's deadline. I don't know. I feel like they should keep going beyond that. Kenny Milton's a, a pretty decent reliever, and I think you get some maybe some good prospects for him. I don't know. Some team could use him, but you should bring, keep going beyond that. Cease would bring in a good haul. Maybe even Grand Doll, Tim Anderson, anyone else that has value. Keep rebuilding and restocking the farm for the future. Don't just go halfway. And trading TA for high value now would be incredibly smart for Chicago. I doubt they'll do that though. I think they'll just trade all their pitchers like they're literally trading them all, trading them all away. I'm trying to find some more news here. I think that's it. So. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it for um, John Morosi. See if we got anything from John Heyman here. So yeah, we have um, just a little thing here. Uh, the Marlins, they have interest in uh, Tigers All-Star Mike Lorenzen. The Royals previously were mentioned as a possible landing spot by John Morosi. Lorenzen, uh, he's going to be a free agent after this year. I, th I think he's going to get Dale because he's a free agent after, after this year. I think they're going to trade him. I really do. Yeah, um, but it's really off to say, though. So, till next time, Michael Peace.
and I'll do a NASCAR review, the Xfinity race, and Dodgers recap tonight as usual.